What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, we're gonna tap in, see what's going on. Okay, Virgo, um, the energy was strong. Okay, uh, I didn't get a song for y'all, but when I started shuffling cards and I was tapping into your energy and shit. I had a card fall on the floor from a completely different deck that I'm not even using for this reading. And it was the Six of Cups reverse. Um, but before I get to that, um, I feel like, Virgo, I feel like you're irritated. I feel like you're triggered. I feel like you're pissed off. I feel like you got an attitude about something. Like someone has really like just irritated the fuck out of you. I feel like you could be projecting your anger um, or this is somebody doing this shit towards you. Take it as it resonates. Um, but I do feel like you're in an uncomfortable situation um, just based on the cards that I got out here. Um, but before I show you the cards that I pulled, uh, I'm going to go back to that card that fell out on the floor. It was the Six of Cups reverse. So some of you could be dealing with Scorpio or this could definitely be an ex of yours. Some of you may have children with this person, a kid or kids with this person. But I feel like there was like a nasty breakup between you and somebody. I feel like either this person let, left a bad taste in your mouth or you left a bad taste in this person's mouth or you both did. You know, it's, it's equal. I feel like if this person rubbed you the wrong way, you rubbed them the wrong way. Um, but I feel like this is like... I feel like you're learning a lesson out here, Virgo, um, in regards to somebody. And I feel like it's uncomfortable. I feel like you don't like it. I feel like you're irritated. You're irritable. It's just like, because I also heard somebody say, like when I was shuffling, shuffling your reading, like I, spirit was showing me like somebody with their hands like this. And it was almost like somebody was saying like, why won't you just like admit it? Why won't you just take accountability? Like, I've seen somebody doing that. So, somebody could, like, talk with their hands or something, Virgo. I don't know. But I feel like you got an attitude. You're irritated. You're pissed off. Okay? And I feel like it's definitely with an ex or somebody that you have children with. Okay? So, let's go to the cards that came out. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with tra childhood trauma. Or they could be dealing with their childhood trauma. And it's very triggering. It's very annoying. With the Six of Cups Reverse. Um... Uh, or you be telling somebody that they need to work on it and it's pissing them off. But anyway, uh, we got conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. And this is why I said I was picking up on the nine of wands energy. Because this is what this is giving. And this looks like the nine of wands. And eclipse energy. Full moon eclipse. This is when something has reached its peak. Something just is completely out of your control now. Something here is like out of your control. It has gotten out of control. It's out of your hands. There's nothing that you can do about about it, whatever it is. You know, it's just, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like at this point it's like, let the, let the shit play out how it's gonna play out. But I feel like you're not happy with the outcome. You're not happy that the fact that this shit is out of your control now. It says conclusions are within reach so this card this full moon eclipse can speak to you needing to forgive somebody um forgiveness is what will set you free of this karmic situation um but you know easier said than done right virgo um yeah but i feel like you need to forgive somebody for what they did or they need to forgive you um this card says, like, it doesn't make it right what this person did to you. It doesn't mean that you deserved it or it was, or it was fair. But you need to forgive this person, not for them, but for your own sake. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like all this anger, all this irritation is, like, creating some sort of blockage for you. Like, real shit. And then we got obsession out here. So you could be obsessively watching somebody or somebody's obsessively watching you. You're watching somebody's social media, watching it, their page or something that they're saying. Like somebody is watching somebody here via phone over the Internet. Page of swords energy. Somebody is really like obsessively watching somebody, always checking their page and shit, checking to see what they're saying. I feel like every time they go, they get pissed. Every time they go watch this person's page, they get pissed the fuck off. This card, this obsession card, 
is also somebody's in denial. Somebody's like in denial about the fact that they're watching somebody too much. They could be in denial that they're obsessed with somebody. And this, uh, this card also speaks to, like, this card speaks to obsession, but it's like the obsession is somebody, like, feeling like that somebody, like, their life is better with somebody in it. Or somebody, like, brings more pizzazz or flavor to their life. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that's, I mean, that's not necessarily true. Somebody could be deceiving themselves because, like, obsession is, like, obsession can fuck with your perception. You know, it's not really real. You know, somebody's like obsessing and they believe, they perceive. I don't know what happened here, but somebody is like perceiving or they believe that someone makes their life better. Like their life was better without this person. I mean, with this person. I don't know if it's because of what you experienced with this person or what. Or however the dynamic played out. But it's like somebody here is like obsessed with somebody. It's like they think that some like they're better with somebody than without somebody. My bad, Virgo. But anyway, people love to text me when I start doing readings. That shit is so annoying. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. So yeah, you be feeling the effects of Mercury retrograde too. That could be irritating you, Virgo. Let's see. What's going on here, Virgo? What's the message for Virgo? Or somebody's like, you know, this is the best partner I ever had, or this was like... I don't know. Some of you is like obsessed with somebody, but it's because it's like they believe that somebody here is like, yeah, it says bad habits, drugs, addictions, and toxicity. So somebody could be addicted to drugs, alcohol, toxic shit. Somebody here is low vibrational. It could be a karmic feminine energy. Somebody's trying to act like they're not into this toxic shit or they're not into drugs or something here, but they are. <laughs> Trying to act like they're not obsessed with somebody. What's going on here? Why are these cars upside down? These cars are not supposed to be upside down. Oh, shit. What is this? Yeah, dodging bullets. It's like, yeah, somebody's trying, they're trying to dodge negativity. They could be trying to dodge you, Virgo. They're trying to avoid you going off on them, or this is you trying to avoid somebody so they don't go off on you. It's like somebody's trying to avoid taking accountability. It's like they don't want to be seen as a bad person or a negative person or a toxic person. It's like they're trying to dodge, just blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. We got kissing ass and wasting time. So yeah, somebody could want to kiss your ass, Virgo, or this could be you. Yeah, somebody, somebody stuck. Changes, no limited. They haven't changed anything. They haven't done anything different. They haven't done a work on themselves. I don't know if this person promised to change or they said they would and they didn't. Yeah, same shit, different day. Yeah, so this person could have promised you that they were going to change and they didn't. You could have gave this person a second chance or multiple chances. Virgo, this is you or somebody else. Yeah, I feel like somebody feels backstabbed. They feel betrayed. Or this is you, Virgo. You still you feel backstabbed and betrayed by somebody that you gave multiple chances to. Or this is somebody else, you. I don't know why these cards keep coming out. Like, this shit is weird. What the fuck is this? This is too many fucking cards. This is confused. Yeah, this is somebody who's in and out of your life. Not a wands energy. Somebody who needs to grow the fuck up. Somebody who's playing games. I feel like you're rejecting this person now or you deem them as like... Like... Not relationship material or something here. It says impersonator. 
wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, and copies you. Yeah, moving on and dirty offer. Yeah, I feel like somebody keeps trying to offer you a dirty offer or they keep trying to give you something that you don't want. Like, I don't know why I keep having to shuffle these cards because, like, every time these cards fall off, it doesn't feel right. It's just something. I don't know what's going on here, but, uh, yeah, Down Low by Ronald Isley and R. Kelly is coming out. So, that could be a Virgo. Not a Virgo. It could be a Virgo. So, it could be Virgo on Virgo here I'm talking about. But it also could be Capricorn. And um, I think Ronald Isley might be a Gemini. I don't know. You might have to Google that. But I feel like this 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 song came out in Leo's reading, so Leo could be uh, significant. Yeah, it says obsessed. Told you, somebody's obsessed with somebody out here, and somebody's in denial about it. It's a woman out here who's obsessed with a man. She's trying to act like she's not, like she's high vibing and shit. Eleven, eleven. You got obsession here. And an obsessive lover here. So somebody is like obsessed with somebody. Yeah, fake accounts and hid in the clouds. It's like somebody's like delusional out here. It's like they feel lost without somebody. So they're making fake accounts, fake pages or something. Or this is somebody doing this shit to you. Yeah, this is obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, and karmic. There's a karmic feminine energy out here, Virgo. I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody else. There's definitely a karmic feminine energy that's like obsessed with somebody, fantasizing about somebody, daydreaming, head in the clouds and shit, feeling like this is the only person that I should be with. Like, this is so the one. Like, like somebody out here is fucking cuckoo. Yeah. Irreconcilable differences and divorce final. So yeah, somebody could be getting a divorce out here, or like I said, something is over. Something has reached its peak. Something has be ink eclipsed out of somebody's life because this obsession that they have. Somebody who's obsessed like this is not gonna just cut something off on their own. The universe had to step in and do it because somebody's obsession here, like refuse to they refuse to let something go, let someone go. So a divorce is final. There's irreconcilable differences out here. Some of you, this is somebody you got divorced from or you're getting divorced from. It's like something here didn't work out. This wasn't a good match. You weren't compatible with somebody here. It's like irreconcilable differences. It's like you just don't get along. You don't look at life the same way. It's just like you're not really like compatible with somebody here. And that could have led to a divorce or you're currently divorcing somebody. I feel like somebody feels like their life hasn't been the same since this divorce or ever since they decided to divorce or break up. Verge about to reveal and confess and family, yeah, blood ties and inner circle. Yeah, so somebody got some tea about somebody. It says blood family inner circle. So yeah, it's blood ties here, or yeah, this is somebody just you have a family with. Some of you got like one or two kids with somebody out here. It's like somebody is like they feel like it, I don't know. I had to. Yeah, look at this shit. It says threatened. It says embarrassed and appearances. So, yeah, so somebody's looking like a fucking clown out here. That's why I said somebody's like avoiding accountability. They don't want to be seen as an unlikable person or, you know what I'm saying? But they really are. I feel like this person be out here doing weird shit or obsessively like stalking you, watching you won't leave you alone it's like they're a whole clown like i don't know if this person thought that you were gonna leave their family or maybe this person left their family for you and they thought y'all was gonna be together they thought y'all was gonna get back together and make up or something out here and somebody's just like mm -mm. it's like somebody want to spill the tea or spill the beans or tell on somebody here
What is this for Virgo? Somebody may be getting ready to confess that they got a family somewhere else. So somebody could have had a bastard child. And I'm trying to say it like that, but I just mean they had a kid outside of their relationship or outside of their marriage. Yeah, great fortune is out here. Yeah, mature man. Yeah, and concern. So yeah, so you Virgos, you're moving on to a, a mature man. You know, somebody is like, you're moving on to somebody who's more mature. You're moving into great fortune. Like there's a divine masculine in your energy who's meant for you. If you're looking for a relationship, there is somebody around you that is mature. Okay. Or somebody, it's like they're in your energetic field, but you may or may not have met this person already. But then you have somebody, you have an ex. It's two men out here. But you have an ex that is like concerned about what you're doing or who you're with or, you know what I'm saying? Because this mature man, this is a five on here. Fives represent change in the tarot. So when you meet this real divine masculine, it's going to change everything. But you got somebody out here from your past, told you, 33, this person could be 33 years old, but don't have to be. But 33 breaks down to a six. And I told you, this six of cups fell out in reverse when I was reading your energy. So this is this past person that you fell out with, that you were on bad terms with. You know what I'm saying? You got kids with. And it's like, they're, this person is like, your ex is obsessed with you. Like, real shit, Virgo. Your ex is obsessed with you, or this is your ass. Yeah, I feel like you're going into a new direction, and you're leaving somebody out in the cold. Like, real shit, because something here got too crazy, or something here reached its peak to where the universe came in and just ended some shit. I mean, I feel like you may still have a grudge towards this person, or you feel a certain type of way, but... That's where forgiveness comes in at. Like, you need to forgive this person for what they did. Yeah, look at that. Thoughts. This person's, like, worried, concerned in thoughts. This person's, like, worried about what the fuck you're doing. You're on this person's mind. Heavy. It's like this person's all up in your energy, all up in your business and shit. They want to know what you got going on. Who is this mature man you've been talking to? Or if you have a mature man or what the fuck. Mm -mm. Yeah, nine, nine of, uh, what is this? Oh, it says change. Yeah, so somebody could have had to move, or you could have changed locations, or this person don't know where you live at anymore or something here. They're try could be trying to figure out if you moved or if you changed locations and shit. Yeah, this person's thinking about messaging you. Message. Somebody wants to call you, write you a letter, text you or something here. Yeah, but I feel like this person's under judgment <laughs> with a karmic feminine energy. Yeah, this is somebody you took your power back from. Star seed. Mm -hmm. So you're in this star energy. Yeah, you were right about somebody with the oracle card here. Your intuition was right about somebody, Virgo. Yeah, somebody was a distorted masculine court, cult leader. Yeah, and narc. Yeah, it's like you completely removed yourself from somebody. For some of you to have kids with this person, this person may feel like they own you. Or this could be this person. That's why I said somebody's like irritated or got an attitude or they're pissed off. And it could be this person from your past because you completely cut them off. Mm-hmm. But this is somebody who is like has not taken accountability at all. So whatever this person did to you, they refuse to apologize. They haven't said sorry. Like, my bad, Virgo. I didn't mean it. It's like, no, this person has never taken any type of accountability at all for how things transpired or played out between the both of you. And this could have led to a divorce or a breakup, irreconcilable differences. It's just like, what What can you do with somebody who won't take accountability? It's like, this person see, feels like they didn't do anything wrong. You feel like they did. It's like, what are we going to do here? 
Because this is not going to move forward unless you take some sort of accountability until you can admit that you did fuck up and you were wrong. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's the message here for Virgo? You yeah, have privilege. So this could be you. You could be privileged or you live like a pretty decent lifestyle, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? You can have, I mean, you dress well, you get your nails done. I mean, you can afford to do like privileged shit, basically. Like you get your nails done, you can go where you want, do what you want, buy what you want type shit. But I feel like you're watching somebody like crash out or something here or spiral out of control. You could be watching this narcissistic ass person spiral out. <laughs> I feel like you feel sorry for this person. Maybe, but yeah, some of you Virgos are fine as fuck. Sexy as fuck. Yummy. Some of you Virgos can have a gap or you're just fine as hell. Like you're very attractive Virgo right now. That's what that's why somebody is pissed off. It's like they're obsessively obsessively watching you on social media and shit. And it's like they're mad because you still look good. You're fine as fuck. Like you don't look like whatever's been going on behind the scenes or whatever's been going on between you and this person. Like you don't look like you're affected in any type of way. <laughs> it's like you still look good as fuck. Lips still still on point. Nails still on point. It's just like you just look good. Somebody is mad because you don't look all broken down and fucked up and shit. It's like well, somebody wants you to look like Virgo like. Yeah, you took your power back from somebody. Period. You took your power back from this narcissistic ass person. Twenty two on a timer, so twenty two could be significant. There could be some Leo Virgo cuspers out here, or Libra Virgo cuspers. Your birthday could be on the twenty second. Yeah, look at that self care. Yeah, you pull back your power and start taking care of yourself. So some of you could recently, like some of you could have went and got your nails done today, hair, eyebrows, or something like that. It's like you're over here, like, taking care of yourself, healing, spending time with you, self-care, washing your hair, getting your hair done. It's like straight minding your business. And somebody's, like, trying to mind yours. Like, they're obsessed with watching you, figuring out what you're doing. Because I feel like somebody feels like you upgraded their life. And now that you're not a part of it anymore, it's like they're now just, like, a regular-ass motherfucker again. <laughs> So somebody's mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody feels stupid as fuck. They look like a clown. It's like, how do you fumble Virgo? You know what I'm saying? Virgos are like the closest thing to perfect that you're going to get. Okay? Like, how do you fumble a Virgo? Just trying to figure out. Like, somebody feels stupid as fuck and now they sit up and stalk you. They're obsessed with you. Right, this is you. Let's see. What's the message you see in the Virgo? And somebody out here is obsessed with a divine feminine energy. Virgo energy, nine of pentacles came right out. Mm -hmm. Look at you, looking good, feeling good. A lot of you Virgos are single, 24, 24 on the timer. You're single and you're mingling. You're looking good. Like, look at that smile on her face. Like I told you, somebody's mad because you're not all broken down because they're not a part of your life anymore. You broke up or you divorced them. It's like, Virgo, you're moving on. You're happy, like you're happily single. It's like you're happy to be single again. You're happy to be getting you back. All this self-care, self-love. You know what I'm saying? Some of you could be working out. The nine of pentacles energy is working out. So yeah, somebody's mad because you look good. You could be losing weight. Um, Virgo. Or I'm hearing snapback. What? Okay, Virgo then. Okay. 
okay? She snap back then, okay? <laughs> y'all hearing snap back? Yeah, nine of pentacles. Some of y'all are working, y'all doing y'all things. Some of you Virgos are entrepreneurs and shit. Just sexy, single, independent, mingling and shit. Happy. I mean, you could be entertaining people or you could be dating or, you know, seeing what's out there. But I don't feel like it's nothing too serious. I feel like you in your bag, nine of pentacles. If you are an entrepreneur, you making money and shit, business is doing well. Yeah, I feel like you're stable, secure, confident, self-made. Like you just a hustler by nature. Um, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles energy is somebody who got it off the mud. Self-made. They built their shit from the ground up. So this is why. I mean, I'm not saying that you do. But I mean, if you wanted to brag, you could. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the Nine of Pentacles. The only thing you might not have is a relationship. But other than that, you're the whole package. Like Nine of Pentacles. Like, that's somebody who's only missing one more pinnacle before they had a ten of pentacles. So, I feel like you do really well by yourself. Single, independent, fine as fuck. You dress well. You take care of your body. You eat well. Some of you can have your own garden or some shit. Or you eat healthily. Like, I feel like, Virgo, you're very conscious of your diet. Like, you can eat a lot of salad, cucumbers, and shit. Yeah, we got the eight of wands reverse. Yeah, you block somebody with the eight of wands. You block somebody like out of your energy or literally you block somebody or something backfired on them. For some of you, it could be a Sagittarius. I don't know why I'm picking up Sagittarius energy, but yeah, Eight of Wands reverse, you block somebody. And ever since you block this person, shit has slowed completely down for, for them. It's like they could be having transportation trouble. It's like now they're panicking. Because you're going to move on. You don't want shit to do with it no more, Virgo. Yeah, you could just unexpectedly block this person. Just woke up with day and just delete. <laughs> yeah, eight of wands reverse. Something's backfiring on somebody. There's been a slowdown in the communication. It's like something's not moving forward here anymore. Yeah, look at that. Eight of cups. Mm -hmm. You walked away. Eight of cups. You said, let it burn. You see that shit in that bowl? That's like, whatever emotions you had left for this motherfucker, you're letting that shit burn. Let it burn. It's feeling the same, the same in your body. We want you, you know, gotta let it go. It's your body and nothing like it used to. Let it burn. 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 <laughs> That's Usher. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Or I told you, Libra, Virgo, Cusper out here. Yeah, it could. You walked away. You're like, I'm not settling for this shit. Like, I know I could do better. I know I could find better. Like, absolutely not. Eight of Cups. Like, this may be something that you invested a lot of time, energy, effort, and emotion in. But at the end of the day, it wasn't enough to sustain this relationship. Like, real shit, it just wasn't enough. I feel like you just had to block somebody and walk away. Because this person may be crazy or they got some type of mental health issues. Look, Six of Cups reverse again on the bottom of the deck. This is a different deck and it came out again as the overall energy. So, yeah, this is somebody you, this is definitely an ex. Somebody that you have kids with or somebody that you have a history with. Somebody that you've been knowing for a really long time. Somebody you could have grew up with in childhood or you just, you've known them for a long time. You got history. Like you could have been through a lot with this person, but... I feel like shit didn't end well here. This was a bad breakup that just left everybody feeling like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? This could be somebody who needs to work on their childhood issues, their childhood wounds and shit. The six of cups reverse. Yeah, somebody's like stuck in misery. Misery. They feel like their life has been miserable ever since you left, ever since you blocked them, ever since you walked away. It's like somebody feels like their life ain't got no flavor now. They ain't got no seasoning. <laughs> okay. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Yeah, there could be gossip going on with the three of cups reverse. 
because like I mean yeah it's it's bitches talking about your business or talking about you or old group of friends or a social circle you don't fuck with no more so they don't matter there's a bunch of lame ass weirdos why is the nine of pentacles here Yeah, I feel like you're healing, Virgo. Four of Swords, you're protecting your peace. You're resting. Some of you could be going to therapy. You know what I'm saying? Just doing self-care. Doing what the fuck you feel like you need to do for you. It's like, I don't feel like you're worried about nobody else right now, Virgo. You're focused on you. Self-care, you then took your power back. You're looking good, feeling good. You're healing. You're protecting your peace. You're getting more sleep, getting more rest. I feel like you're really taking care of you. The Four of Swords... Yeah, you could be meditating more and shit. I feel like you're getting back into something that used to help you meditate. This could be like sounds. I'm hearing rain sounds or, you know, the frequency music. I don't know the proper word for that, but you know what the fuck I'm talking about, Virgo. Yeah, four swords. I feel like you're healing from something. Somebody's name could be Dominique. The four swords here. Yeah, five of wands. Yeah, you got haters. <laughs> five of wands. You somebody is like pissed off. Five of wands. You got haters. People are jealous. They want to compete with you. They're envious. They want to cause some type of drama or stir some shit up. But I feel like you're ignoring it, Virgo. You're just like, I'm not finna entertain this stupid shit. Like, I'm just not doing it. I have a five of wands here. Yeah, you took your power back. Strength card. So you definitely could be a Leo Virgo cusper out here. Strength card is like, I feel like you're resilient. You've overcame something. You know, you show courage and willpower, loyalty. It's like you are who the fuck you say you are, Virgo. Like, real shit. And, like, people are mad at you because of that. People are jealous and hating because you overcame something. Or you came out on top of something with the strength card. Or you were innocent in a situation. I feel like you're bouncing back from something beautifully and like somebody like it's like they just don't like you because of it. <laughs> That's a strength card here. It's like somebody thought you were a weak bitch, but they're realizing like that you're stronger than they thought. Like real shit, strength with the nine of pentacles is definitely some Leo Virgo cuspers out here. It's like somebody's jealous of your bounce back game. <laughs> yeah, look at that. As soon as I said Leo Virgo cusper, and here we go. Queen of Wands with the strength. Hell yeah. It's like something that you manifested is coming to coming to fruition. Some of you could practice magic or divination if you do. And you're the queen of wands of right. It's positive. It's high vibing ass magic. And I feel like you're excited because it's working. Something here is manifesting. Like you're getting something. You're seeing your hard work pay off. Like I told you, you fine as fuck. Strength card with the queen of wands is definitely a Leo Virgo cusper out here. Okay. That's fine as hell. Or some of you have fire in your chart. And Queen of Wands is sexy. Very witchy type. Very tapped in. Some of you have a cat. You know, it's like somebody's like jealous of your courageousness, your bravery, your strength, your power, how sexy you are. It's like somebody cannot believe that you're just this strong, this independent, this loyal, this self-made. It's like somebody is like irritated with the fact that you are who the fuck you say you are, Virgo. Like somebody is so mad at that. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands with the strength. 
feel like you're in a peaceful place with the four swords here. And somebody wants to, they want to argue with you, fight with you. They want to beef with you, compete with you. And I feel like you're just like, compete with what and who for what? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Page of Swords Reverse. Yeah, somebody's gossiping, talking shit, trying to slander you, spreading lies. But I'm telling you, this person's trying to start something with you. They're trying to get your attention. So whatever this shit is that they're lying about, Page of Swords Reverse. They want it to get back to you so that you react or pay them some type of attention or some shit. How's a page one? Page of swords reverse. Sorry, here's a fucking loser. A clown. Just period. It's like they want you to get triggered. They want you to fight and argue with them and fuss and yeah, because somebody's embarrassed out here right now. Like whatever this person did, like you walking away from this person proved how clown they are. And somebody's embarrassed by it. The fact that you walked away has somebody embarrassed because now they feel like they're inadequate, like they're not good enough for a relationship. I feel like you bruise somebody's ego by walking away. And so now it's like they're slandering you, lying on you, talking shit. It's like they want, they're saying all this stupid shit and telling all these lies because they want you to react. You know, they want people to believe that. It's like they want people to believe that you are this person they're trying to paint you out to be. I mean, it's not true. The page of Swords Reverse is a lie. So you're not who this person is trying to paint you out to be. But it's like they're saying this shit because they want you to get triggered. They want you to get, they want you to react. Because if you react, then it's going to prove them right. Because I feel like now they out here right now looking like a stupid, goofy bitch. Like real shit. So they're trying to slander you, spread lies about you, gossip about you, in hopes that it get back to you so you can get pissed off and you can react. And then they be like, told you, told you, see, Virgo really is like that. Like, if I feel like you know what somebody's doing. Yeah, ten of, ten of cups reverse. This person could be in a relationship or married to somebody else. They could be with a water sign. They don't have to be. If they're not with a water sign or married to a water sign, they could just be a part of a dysfunctional ass family. Is this in a close reverse? Like their family is messy and weird. Is a motherfucker too. I told you, I feel like you, 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 you upgraded somebody when you were with them. Like you got somebody out of this. When they were with you, this person had an opportunity to get out of this ten of cups reverse. They didn't have to deal with their dysfunctional ass family. They didn't have to deal with this weird ass water sign that they probably were in a relationship with. It's like something here that you got this person away from when you were with them. But now that you're not with them no more, you don't fuck with them and shit. Now this person is trying to lie on you to make you out to be a terrible ass person or trying to make people think you're not who the fuck you say you are because they're embarrassed out here. This is a loser. And this is exactly why the fuck you walked away and cooked. It's like, I feel like you realize how lame somebody is, Virgo. Like, what in the fuck? That's a page of wine, page of swords reverse. It's like somebody slandering, gossiping, talking shit, spreading lies. Like, yeah, a page of cups, but it's all to get your attention. Somebody here is immature as fuck and they're slow. Like, somebody really thinks that this is going to get your attention. This is going to get you to, like, look at them or something or say something or do something. Like that. That's a page of cups here. It's like this person talks shit about you, lie, gossip, slandered you. But this is the same person with the page of cups. They want to apologize and be nice and be your friend and shit. Hey, what in the fuck? Why's the page of cups here? Told you, some, some of you do got two kids with this person. With the page of swords and the page of uh, cups here. Or you can have a... Or some of you can have a set of twins. And one... If you have a set of twins, I feel like one of the twins, there could be some type of like learning disability or something with the page of swords i mean pages are really young kids so these kids could be like under six years old <laughs> yeah three of wands yeah i feel like you're turning your back on something you're just like you're ignoring this shit whatever this petty shit is this childish shit that somebody's trying to do to get your attention it's like three of wands are right 
you are turning your back on this shit or you already did and you're moving the fuck forward. Three of Wands. You're already looking forward to your future. You're making progress. It's just like, I feel like after this breakup or this, this person just got e like ejected or eclipsed from your life, I feel like you just move forward. It's like you didn't argue. You didn't fight. You didn't go off on this person. You didn't try to slander them like they trying to do you. It's like you just move forward. It's like you don't even speak on this person's name. Yeah, hermit card. Look at you. Period. Hermit energy. It's like you're minding your business, spending time at home, spending time by yourself. You really don't want to be bothered. Just meditating. Like four swords and a hermit. It's like when you're not working, you're meditating, you're healing. Like real shit. That's the eight of wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like you definitely block somebody out. You block somebody literally with the Eight of Wands reverse for your mental and emotional health. You're like, no. Yeah, Two of Wands reverse. Yeah, Eight plus the Two is the Ten. Ten of Wands reverse. You release this burden. You let go. You're just like, I'm tired. Like, I can't deal with it no more. And if like, you just let it go and you've been feeling lighter and freer ever since. Yeah, Chariot, you're moving forward really, really quick. You're focused. You're back on your path, back on the grind, back on what's important. You're putting yourself as a priority again. Like, real shit. Like, this is a cancer. Why are these cards backwards? Hold on, yeah, King of Swords reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. Somebody who's a liar. Somebody who's very cold and detached, narcissistic. Somebody who's very irrational and they got mental health issues. Lots of cherry here. Yeah, I feel like you're moving literally away from this person. Some of you don't want this person to know where you live at, where you stay at, or nothing. Yeah, I feel like Page of Swords, I feel like Virgo, you literally have a stalker. This person's been causing havoc, but I feel like this is somebody you could have been in a relationship with or you have kids with. Why is a cherry you here? It's like you're moving forward, you're on your path, you're back on track. Yeah, Moon card in the Tower Reverse. Heavy Cancer energy out here. But I feel like you dodged the bully. I still feel like you're in your feelings about it, though. Like a little bit moon card here. I feel like it still affects your emotions, you know, but you don't let other people see that. It's like you're trying to deal with it on your own through meditation, through healing, therapy and shit. Yeah, three of cups. I feel like you're back outside. You're celebrating. You're happy. You could be hanging with friends or family or this new group of friends. It's like you're just living your life. Yeah, King of Cups Reverse. Yeah, somebody's like emotionally unstable out here. Somebody's very moody, very wishy-washy. Somebody who's passive aggressive and like to play the victim and shit. Somebody out here can have a drinking problem as well. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I was a king. This is this is this person emotionally unstable. They're obsessed with you in an unhealthy way. I was a king because reverse. They're obsessed with your energy, with your light. Very emotional. This person's in their feelings and shit. They could have been crying. Yeah, magician reverse. But this is somebody who's a manipulator, a trickster. This is somebody who tried to trick you, use you, take advantage of you, get over on you. It's like they took advantage of your vulnerability. They seen you as an opportunity. They 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 took an opportunity to do something to you, to play games with you. Magician reverse. That's also Virgo energy and Gemini energy. What's the magician reverse? Somebody here is a shapeshifter. They pretended to be something they weren't. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Cups reverse. Told you. Yeah, they could have been attached to a karmic feminine energy. So they're both like in their feelings and crying and and just being weird as fuck they're both codependent and emotionally unstable and shit they both could be shapeshifters and manipulators and shit yeah this person is with a queen of cups reverse where they don't get treated fairly the king and the queen of cups reverse they both like 
they both conditionally love people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'll show you affection. I'll show you attention. I'll show you emotions under the conditions of dot, 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 fill in the blank. So these people are fucking retarded and emotionally unstable, passive aggressive. They're emotional, manip emotionally manipulative, gaslight, love bomb, trick, play games, all that type of shit. They're weird. Whoever the fuck these people is, this karmic couple here, they both could be obsessed with you and in their feelings. It's like you're walking away. You're just like, you can have both of you crazy and he crazy. Like, y'all can have each other. Like, bye. Yeah, hang man. Yeah, you've enlightened. You've been enlightened about something. It's like you woke up to something. You're looking at something. You realize, like, yeah, I got to sacrifice this. I got to let this shit go because... This shit will never work between you and whoever this person is. I really feel like this person has issues. But I feel like you're seeing shit correctly now. Like you gained a new perspective with the uh, hangman upright. You're realizing why it's necessary for you to let this go or why you had to let this go. I feel like you have a greater purpose. It's like something else meant for you to be doing. This was just a lesson for you to stop some sort of pattern that you were doing. Or allowing yourself to do. I feel like Virgo, you're really quiet into yourself. You don't really bother nobody. Why is the hangman here? Got a lot of majors here. The chariot, the moon, the hangman, the hermit. Yeah, you got a lot of majors. The strength. So this is definitely something that was significant. There's a hand in here. Yeah, four cups reverse. Now somebody wants to come back around. Somebody who wasn't interested in you at first. Somebody who thought you were like everybody else. That you weren't special. That you weren't who the fuck you said you were. Like now somebody wants to come back around. Four cups reverse. After they softly rejected you acted like they weren't interested in you uh chose this queen of cups over you or tried to play you for this queen of cups reverse like what in the fuck if for some of you virgo I, i'm i don't know why i'm getting this down low all of a sudden but for some of you virgo whoever this masculine energy is i feel like you knew this person even before they knew this queen of cups reverse you knew this person before they knew this karmic but they tried to treat you like you were some type of like straggler. They tried to treat you like you were the karmic feminine energy, even though you knew this person first. Like, what in the fuck? It's like, yeah, I feel like, Virgo, you're sending somebody back to the streets. You're just like, bitch, move around. You and that crazy ass bitch, or you and that crazy ass nigga can have each other. Fuck on. Like real shit, I feel like you're just like, ah, oh, bitch, I don't want to be bothered, or whoever the fuck this is, like, I don't want to be bothered. For some of you, if you're a Virgo man, this could have been a woman that you were trying to, like, save, you were trying to be Captain save a hoe to a bitch, and maybe she could have had, like, a crazy baby daddy, or an emotionally unstable baby daddy that's, like, jealous of you and shit, trying to secretly compete with you, like, what in the fuck? This is definitely somebody you got kids with or somebody where this is a this breakup was significant because it didn't end on good terms with the six of cups reverse. This is like that one ex that you can't stand. Like real shit. Why's the four cups reverse? Yeah, seven of cups. This person is lost and confused without you. Told you. Seven of Cups. Somebody's like delusional. They're confused. This obsession that they have. All this daydreaming and fantasizing about you. Because I feel like this person's life has not been the same. Like when you dumped this person. When you walked away from them with the Eight of Cups. They had to go back to the trenches. Go back to where the fuck they came from. I feel like Virgo. You introduced this person to a better quality life. Nine of Pentacles. Strength card. Hermit card. It's like you showed this person a different way to live. Like you you gave this person, you showed them like you don't have to live your life the way you're living it. Like you don't have to get over on people. You have to trick life scheme. Like you can really like really just do you, be in your own lane, be independent, self-sufficient. Like, you know, you show this person what it means to be loyal, confident. I mean, like 
you got look you really upgraded this person you showed this person something they never seen before like real shit but they chose somebody more lower vibrational queen of cups reverse to the king of cups reverse and now this person is like they hate it wherever they are they want to come back towards you because they're lost and they're confused how's the seven of cups here why do they want to come back to virgo so bad Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person took forever. Like, I feel like you haven't seen or heard this per heard from this person in a long ass time. Or this is somebody who moved extremely slow with you. It's like they were slow to commit. Or what is this? Knight of Pentacles? I mean, Knight of Pentacles. What is this? It's like this person doesn't know what to do. They're like, they're lost, but they just know that they need to, like, get their shit together. That's the Nine of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, because they're going through karma. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yeah, their life has been turned upside down. They didn't learn no kar this karmic lesson out here. It's like this is somebody who likes to blame other for others for their circumstances and shit. They don't take accountability. The Wheel of Fortune is like this person's this person's life got real hard and real challenging after you walked away from them. Or is going to if it hasn't already. Yeah, this person's finna have to they finna have to learn the hard way with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's like they would have just learned the lesson when they should have learned the lesson. This karma wouldn't wouldn't be hitting so hard. You know what I'm saying? The, the 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 will of fortune reverse is negative karma that has been accumulated because of the poor decisions that you've been making. So somebody here, this this karma that they're experiencing is due to them making terrible decisions. Like they're responsible for this karma that's happening to them. That's why life is hard. Shit is very challenging. They're going through a lot right now. Mm -hmm. especially with a baby mother empress reverse or they could have got somebody pregnant mm -hmm. told you it's a karmic feminine energy that they got involved with somebody who's clingy codependent somebody who is like pretending to be a divine feminine but she's not this is a copycat. That's why I said whoever this karmic feminine is. I feel like this Empress Reverse, they can have a kid with her or kids with her. But I feel like you knew this person before they got involved with this Empress Reverse, before they got her pregnant, before they started having kids together. Like you knew this person before that. And they still chose this knockoff and this copycat. A bitch with extremely low self-esteem. Or she can have like botched work. You know, she didn't got some work done and shit. It looks terrible. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles reverse is a bitch who doesn't work on herself at all. Eight of Pentacles reverse, she could be a scammer or she's lazy as fuck, can't keep a job. She thought somebody was going to take care of her ass and all she had to do was suck dick and pop out babies. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Like she's lazy and unskilled and just thinks she's just supposed to roll over and do what a man says. This bitch, the Empress reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like this bitch, her life mission mission is to just be with a man. This is a bitch who chases after niggas and shit. Yeah, I feel like this person's obsessing over you. And they have a karmic feminine energy that's obsessing over them. It's like it's weird. Why is the eight of pentacles here? It's like this person doesn't want to put in effort with this Empress Reverse anymore. So does somebody doesn't want to work on things with their baby mama no more. They're just like, bitch, I'm done with you. Like, I don't want to do this shit no more. I'm not putting in no time, energy, effort, and nothing into this shit. Lots of Eight of Pentacles, you guys. Yeah, lovers, told you. Mm-hmm. They were in a karmic connection. They got some type of soul tie with this Empress Reverse. You know, getting cheated on. One-sided relationship. Somebody's more emotionally invested than the other one and shit. Lover's card. It's a karmic connection. Toxic as fuck. I told you this person experienced something different when they were with you. 
And it's like they want that experience again, but they can't. They already chose what they wanted. So now they're where they want to be. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Now somebody's crying, feeling like they're still in love with you. They want to apologize. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, you feel like somebody out here can't be trusted. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, somebody's like two-faced. They can't be trusted. They're a liar. Why is a High Priestess Reverse? Yeah, four of pentacles reverse. Yeah, bitches broke out here or refusing to let somebody go. Yeah, seven of wands. You're protecting your energy. This could be a fake ass friend with this high priestess reverse. Could be a Pisces with the four of pentacles reverse. You're just like, mm, she's trying to hold on to the friendship. You could be blocking her ass too with the seven of wands. She doesn't have to be a Pisces, but it's just a high priestess reverse. So she could be into tarot. She could be penny pinching or she could owe you some money or something here. I feel like it's a weird fake ass bitch out here that you're blocking out too. Seven of Wands, heavy on the protecting your peace. I feel like these people want you to come down, come off your, you know, your pedestal and argue and fight and play all these weird ass games and shit. But I feel like you're not doing it. I feel like you're focused on the most high. You're praying, you're meditating, you're staying out of the fuck shit. Like real shit. I was a seven of wands here. And you're definitely protected as well. I feel like this six of cups reverse could also, I mean, it just doesn't have to be some uh, ex or somebody you got kids with. It could just be people from your past in general trying to get back in your energy. Six of cups reverse is people from the past that you don't fuck with no more. Now those fuckers are trying to get your attention. They want to apologize to you, reach out. Some of them are trying to cry on you and shit. You're looking like, eh, eh, don't bring your ass over here with this shit. Seven of Wands. <laughs> yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you, you got somebody new in your energy, a divine masculine. A King of Pentacles energy. Could be a, another Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. You got, or this divine masculine has Earth in his chart. Somebody who's providing for you, showing up for you. King of Pentacles, yeah, so Virgo, you can have a new man out here and you're keeping it a secret or you're it's private. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it's a secret. It's just private. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's nobody's business. Like, I feel like you're living your life, Three of Cups, and you're keeping it a secret with the moon card. You don't want nobody to know that you're having a good time or you can even be pregnant by this King of Pentacles and you're keeping it a secret. It's like you're really trying to enjoy whatever this is that's happening for you right now. You don't want these weird ass people or this weird ass ex to ruin anything for you so it's just like you're keeping something to yourself it's like you're your moon card people don't know what's going on with you for real for real i was the king of pentacles here i feel like you're protecting your relationship seven of wands yeah world card reverse but somebody feels like y'all have unfinished business Watch the world car reverse. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's somebody that missed the opportunity with you that feels like y'all got unfinished business. They don't want this cycle to close out. They don't want this to be over. But I mean, it's you don't get to control that, whoever the fuck this is. That's an Ace of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who missed the opportunity with you. This could have been somebody that you were engaged to and it was called off. Yeah, the Hierophant Farm Reverse. Yeah, a narc. Somebody who was actually non-committal. They were just playing games. Or it's like they didn't believe in what you believed in. This person could have known that you were like relationship material. Somebody who believes in tradition and longevity and generational wealth and shit. They knew that about you and still decided to play with you. Could have been a Taurus. With the Hierophant font reverse, this is somebody who's non-committal or you got like your belief systems when it comes to relationships is different. 
It's like this person could be okay with open relationships, open marriages and shit. Or they're in, a, on, in this toxic karmic relationship with this Queen of Cups, Empress, Reverse person. Or they could be connected to two different women. They could have two different baby mamas. They could be in like a poly relationship with the Hierophant Reverse, the King of Cups, and the Empress. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, King of King of Swords reverse. Yeah, in the Page of Pentacles. Somebody wants to apologize or they want to reach out to you. Or they want to offer you something or make amends and shit. And I feel like, Virgo, you're not going for this shit. That's a power font reverse. It's like you're not into whatever this person is into. You're like, nah, I'm cool on it. But like I said, this person, it's like they didn't did everything. They didn't try to create a third party situation with a Queen of Cups reverse and an Empress reverse. Both bitches are jealous of you. They didn't, they didn't did all kind of shit to try to fill this void. But nothing is like when they were with you. Like, it's like they cannot recreate that experience. You know, fuck how many bitches they get. It'll never be the same. <laughs> That's a horror font reverse. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're working with somebody else here. Or this person wants to work with you. Three of Pentacles reverse, but the judgment is in reverse. This person is under heavy judgment. There is malicious gossip going on. This person is wearing a mask. They're still not being authentic, still not taking accountability. They still like self-awareness, acting like they don't know what the fuck they did wrong. It's just like, you don't got time for this shit. Why is the hi hi Hierophant reverse? Yeah, page of wands reverse. Yeah, this person wants your attention really, really bad. This is somebody who's very childish, very jealous, very possessive, but they act like a fucking kid. And for some of you, this person can have an STD with the Hierophant reverse and the page of wands reverse. Or, or they got hella kids. Why is the page of wands reverse? It's like they definitely want your attention. It's like, how you got all these hoes, but you still want the attention of Virgo? You got a Queen of Cups reverse out here and an Empress reverse, but you over here acting a fool or acting out Page and Wands reverse because you don't have Virgo's attention. This person is a fucking loser. Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, I told you. There's a broken bond out here, a broken friendship. It's like you don't have respect for this person no more. You don't feel a connection with them anymore. You feel like you and this person are not compatible. You're just like, no, you were the wrong match for me. A like, real shit. Why is the two of cups reverse here? You could experience some type of emotional abuse from dealing with this person. Ooh. I had to pat my weave. Uh, Virgo. <laughs> Why is the two of cups here? somebody is in denial they will not admit to this truth they will not admit it they will not say it it's like they try to erase it from their memory act like it never happened like they didn't do you dirty they didn't fuck you over like who does that somebody is like crazy like what in the fuck yeah justice reverse for some of you this could be a libra six of pentacles yeah this person wants to work something out with you they want to, this person could be like bipolar or something. They can have like two different sides to them. It was like they switch up quick. Do they have a personality disorder or something here? This person wants to work something out with you with Six of Pentacles. Or they need your help. They want to like borrow something from you. Or they want to make amends with the Six of Pentacles. But you're like, no, it's your weird ass. I don't know. The fuck? Some of you might have to get a restraining order on this person. I feel like somebody will just not leave your ass alone. It's like they can't not get over like what they experienced with you. They can't let it go. They can't over it. They can't get over it. They can't let it go. They don't want to let it go. Even though they got all these holes and all this weird ass shit in the background and they just steal. Like they feel like they're being done wrong with the justice reverse. Like, you don't want to work nothing out with their ass. Yeah, six of swords. 
feel like you moved on from this person and it was hard to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you wanted to do it, but you understand why it was necessary. Because this person didn't have your best interest. Yeah, Ten of Wands. This person was, it was too much to deal with. Wands of Ten of Wands here. Now somebody's burdened and stressed out and feeling overwhelmed. Something here has been a grueling experience. I feel like this person's been doing the same shit for a very long time. And it hasn't gotten them any fucking wear. Wands of Ten of Wands here. Yeah, devil reverse. This person's been cut off from your energy. Could be a Capricorn. He's just like, no, I'm done. This person doesn't have control over you anymore. They don't have access to your energy. Yeah, in reverse. This is a distorted masculine. Somebody who thinks that they're some type of real man, but really they're a cult leader. Like, you hang around all the wrong people. You got all these goofy bitches who are codependent and got low self-esteem and they sit up and stroke your ego all day to make you feel like you're somebody and you're not you're a loser yeah nine of cups i feel like you're happy that you're free from this person so this could be your husband <laughs> like real shit this could be your husband with the emperor reverse or it could be an aries but yeah i feel like you're happy that you're free nine of cups it's like damn it's like fuck you know, i feel like you're making yourself happy you're doing what you want having shit your way Living your best life. Or like I said, some of you got a new man with a king of pentacles out here. Yeah, three of pentacles. Yeah, you're building with somebody. Work, some building with somebody. Working with somebody else. You got a job now that you love with the nine of cups and the three of pentacles. Or this could be three, three of pentacles to be a platform, a YouTube channel, a podcast and shit. It's like you're doing something that you love now. Something like where you're able to like, like. Like release negative energy in a healthy way. You know what I'm saying? This this podcast or this platform that you have allows you to express yourself in a healthy way. Nine of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. It's like you like your co-workers and shit. Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to come out of the cold with you, but it's not fucking happening, you know? Like, somebody needs your help financially as well. They want to borrow some money. Yeah, look, Knight of, Knight of Swords reverse. Somebody keeps verbally attacking you. They want to cuss you out or go off on you. They want to argue with you and shit. This could have been somebody that ghosted you. Yeah, Nine of Swords, but you don't give a fuck. You're just like, fuck on, bitch. You're a loser and a clown. Well, that's a six of cups reverse with the overall energy. This would be like this stupid ass ex of yours, ex husband, ex fiance, um, and just family in general. You're just like, ugh, like all of y'all stay the fuck away from me. Six of cups reverse. Yeah, page of pentacles, and people keep trying to apologize or bring you a gift and say i'm sorry for a lot of you they could be using christmas as an excuse to say something to you or apologize you're just like i'm not trying to hear that shit page of pentacles what is this yeah somebody resents you it's like they really don't like your ass and they feel some type of way but they want to come try to love bomb you and shit with the knight of cozy verse they want to gaslight you, manipulate your emotions. But it's like what this person doesn't understand is that you've healed temperance. You're over them. It's like you can't manipulate something that's not even there. How are you going to manipulate some emotions in Virgo is not even... They don't have no emotions for you. Like the fuck? That's how stupid somebody is. Why is the page of pentacles here? Yeah, two of swords and Yeah, because secrets have been coming out. The truth is being revealed about these lies that people were telling and shit. The truth about you. That's why I keep saying, like, you are who the fuck you said you are, Virgo. Somebody out here, like, maybe listening to these jealous-ass hoes trying to make you out to be something that you were not, and they did you dirty. Ten of swords. Now they want to come back. Could have been a weird-ass cancer or a Libra or a Taurus female that they were involved in after, after you. When these were the weird-ass bitches, they should have been staying away from them. Yeah, just reverse. Yeah, this person made the wrong decision in love and they know it. This person's receiving heavy karma. Will of fortune reverse, judgment reverse, justice reverse. This person can have legal problems and shit. Or they're going through a really, really bad divorce with one of these bitches. Judgment reverse. It's a clown. This person, they refuse to take accountability. 
This person will not admit that they did something here, but they want to come back. No. It's like this person lacks self-awareness. They will not take this mask off because they don't want to be seen as a terrible person, but they are. <laughs> it's like they feel embarrassed and shit because they know it's true. Deep down inside, they know that you were right about them. They know and you know. So they can wear this mask all the fuck they want to. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Sun Cardi Verse, somebody's out here faking their happiness and shit, stealing their ego, pretending like they're happy with life and nothing is wrong and I'm good and you're yeah, right. No the fuck you're not. <laughs> yeah, King of Wands. Yeah, I told you you can have a new boo out here, but I feel like you're keeping it on a low. You got a King of Wands and King of Pentacles out here, and you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. So you got a match out here. Like real shit. I feel like this is somebody who is supportive. They're showing up for you. Good sex. Like, they're just as passionate about you as, you're, as you are about them. Like, very good sexual, physical chemistry. But I feel like it's more to it than that. I feel like this person matches your energy. They're ambitious just like you. Like, they can have a fire placement as well. Or you both could be the same sign or something here. Yeah, two of pentacles reverse. I have the two of pentacles reverse here. Yeah, king of swords reverse. Yeah, this is your stupid ass ex. This king of swords reverse. This bitter, lying, narcissistic ass loser. They tried to lie on you. One, one eleven on the timer. They lied on you, gossiped about you, slandered you. This is why who's cold, bitter, detached, and irrational. They could be power hungry and shit to a pentacles. This person is in a fucked up financial situation. They're emotionally detached. It's like this is a heartless motherfucker with the two of pentacles reverse. Very rude. I feel like they attacked you for no reason or just did you dirty. Yeah, not because you're worse. They want to come love bomb you and shit. Gaslight you. Act like they really do love you. And, oh my God, uh, Virgo, we're going to be together. And, nah, nah, nah. Shut up, bitch. Nobody wants to hear that stupid ass shit because we know you're lying. Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, because they want in on your inheritance. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants, they, they want in. They For some of you, this person just needs some money. Like, real shit. Yeah, five of cups reverse, but I'm just like, you're not sad, you're not heartbroken, you don't feel sorry for this person at all. You're just like, bitch, please, like, you're not getting anything. Yeah, ace of wands, all they got to offer is sex. Ace of wands of right. All they got to offer is sex. They don't have no money. Yeah, nine of wands, this is somebody who wants to play in your energy. Come in and out, inconsistent. They just pop up when they want to fuck, and then they gone again. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, death card versus person has not changed. Scorpio, or it could be a uh, Scorpio, Sag, Cusper. Yeah, temperance. They want to reconcile, want to heal shit with you and shit. No. Temperance. I feel like you're chilling. You're minding your business. You don't want to be bothered. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, they invested in something that was a waste of time, money, energy, and resources. Yeah, and they're, they're stuck with a bitter-ass bitch. They're a king of swords reverse. They're with a queen of swords reverse. With the nine of wands reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a karmic feminine energy. that It's a karmic feminine that wants revenge on this person from your past. And you're out here living your best life. Look at that. Four of wands, six of wands, and a queen of pentacles. Told you. You're showing up. King of wands to the queen of wands. King of pentacles, four of wands, six of wands. And the queen of pentacles. You have somebody out here. I feel like you found your person, your soulmate. You won in the end. Or you will. With the six of wands here, you receive some sort of victory. It's like you're with your real twin flame or your real person. If you subscribe to that. Like this is like this is like you finding your person. There could be a wedding. You could be getting married. And I feel like people are finally giving you your flowers. Giving you the respect that you deserve. It's like real shit. And somebody here is stuck in this Ten of Cups reverse. This dysfunctional, messy ass, weird ass group of pet people, family. It's just like motherfuckers just fucked up. Yeah, somebody feels like a loser. Star card reverse and a five of swords. All they do is play mind games. 
and they're still trying to win at all costs. They're still trying to get some sort of victory out of this situation when they've lost. They're on the losing end and somebody doesn't want to accept that. They will never meet anybody like you. They were never like you upgraded this person when you dealt with them. And I feel like once you figured out that this person was a snake, because that ten of swords out here, once this person did you dirty, you sent them back to the streets and never looked back. And yeah, that shit hurt. But I feel like you healed beautifully. And now you have somebody who really matches your energy. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, somebody long time. Somebody that you may be with for a very fucking long time. Um, but yeah, Virgo, this has been your reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I'll holler at you later. Peace.